Hi, my name is Sam Kovaca. I'm a PhD student at Johns Hopkins, and I'm here to talk to you about my work on targeted nanopore sequencing. So oftentimes in your sequencing, uh, you don't care about a lot of the DNA that's in your sample. For example, if you're trying to diagnose a pathogen in a person, the vast majority of your reads would come from the human and not the pathogen that you're interested in. Alternatively, if you're just trying to sequence a certain panel of genes, uh, most of your reads would come from the rest of the human genome, which you don't care about. Conventional targeted sequencing methods like PCR don't work well for nanopore sequencing because they uh, severely limit the read length and erase epigenetic modifications, which could otherwise be detected. Nanopore specific methods like uh, Cas9 enrichment work well, but they uh, require additional sample preparation and uh, it's difficult to target very large regions with this method. Fortunately, Oxford Nanopore has proposed another uh, nanopore specific targeted sequencing method called read until. Read until sequencing allows you to selectively eject reads from pores uh, before they're finished being sequencing. So if you have the ability to rapidly identify reads as they're being sequenced, this could enable targeted sequencing without any additional sample preparation. The challenge here is being able to identify reads fast enough. So the Oxford Nanopore Minion can sequence up to 512 reads at a time, all moving at 450 base pairs per second. So that's a lot of data to classify in real time. Uh, to address this, we've developed Uncalled, which is a streaming algorithm that rapidly maps raw nanopore signal to DNA references um, and can use these mappings to make read until decisions to enrich or deplete for your target sequence. So for our first example, we look at this uh, Zymomach microbial community, which contains seven bacteria and one fungus. Um, we map to a reference containing all of the bacteria, and we eject any reads that map, um, which enriches the uh, fungal sequence by over fourfold, bringing us from about 20x coverage in a control to over 100x coverage uh, using Uncalled. Another example we look at is this panel of 148 genes associated with hereditary cancer in human, and we're able to enrich uh, this sequence from about five and, a half x co five and a half x coverage to almost 30 x coverage using Uncalled. Uh, from these data, we're able to detect 50 structural variants over all the genes with 100% concordance with um, other long read technologies, uh, and this doubles the number of structural variants detected with Illumina data. In addition to this, we're able to um, detect single nucleotide variants and DNA methylation. Uh, so we uh, posted this preprint on BioArchive back in February, uh, which you can check out. Uh, since then, we've been doing more work, namely uh, we've developed a simulator which can accurately um, simulate a real-time nanopore run and uh, properly handle read until uh, ejections to predict how much uh, enrichment uncalled could enable uh, under certain scenarios. So this is really helpful, uh, especially now when we don't have access to a real lab. Um, so using the simulator, we showed that uncalled would be able to uh, enrich for a, a much larger panel of 117, 717 cancer genes in this cosmic database, which tries to collect all uh, genes associated with human cancer. So we're able to enrich this to levels similar to our smaller gene panel. Um, we also show that we could potentially enrich an entire human exome by about threefold, um, which is very exciting. So we really wanna try these uh, real runs uh, once we are able to. Uh, moving forward, we have a lot of future plans. Um, so a uh, big one is trying to enrich RNA uh, runs. So we could either do um, standard cDNA sequencing or direct RNA sequencing, which is a unique capability of nanopore sequencers. Uh, we wanna scale up to larger references uh, and more repetitive ones. One way which could help with this is to do a GPU implementation to take advantage of that additional computing power. And we also wanna try uh, implementing dynamic time warping with Uncalled, which could enable uh, full-scale signal to base pair alignment. Uh, if you want to find out more, please come to my poster, um, check out my preprint on BioArchive, or see our GitHub page for more information. Thank you.